media uh, platforms uh, have a responsibility uh, to make sure uh, that uh, misinformation isn't got out there. I noticed today, for example, on, uh, on the way up here, uh, they've removed uh, various uh, sites uh, that were up uh, containing uh, fake images of myself uh, superimposed on, on other people. Uh, that's the sort of thing that is uh, going on on social media. Social media has a responsibility uh, to do the right thing here. Welcome to the Report for Tiger Mountain. We're going to talk about our dear beloved leader here in Australia, Albo. Stick around and listen. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we're going to talk a little bit about Anthony Albanese, or as uh, Sam Newman likes to call him, uh, A now, because that's the first two letters of his uh, name, like ScoMo. Uh, you know, he is our leader in Australia. I know it's kind of a bit of a boring topic, ladies and gentlemen, because he's probably the most boring Prime Minister this country's ever had. Yep. Is he the worst? Well, I don't know. It remains to be seen. He isn't, certainly isn't the best. I'll tell you that right now. He's pretty dull. Uh, you know, and obviously he spent much uh, of his uh, first um, period as Prime Minister travelling around the world, getting instructions from his globalist masters all over, the, all over the world, ladies and gentlemen. But now he does seem to have returned to Australia for a little bit, and now he's decided to hang out with uh, wealthy, um, you know, um, you know uh, people who back the Labor Party, whether that be, uh, you know, people like Lindsay Fox or someone like uh, the Pratt family who, um, you know, have put on a special gig for him. And, uh, you know, there was all this thing where he wasn't going to go... Uh, uh, and see Taylor Swift who's going to see a private gig of Katy Perry at, uh, you know, the Pratt family mansion or whatever. And then I think, uh, I thought it was interesting because I, I'm, I'm a member of Scott Morrison's uh, Instagram page and Scott Morrison was at, um, you know, uh, Taylor Swift kind of like getting into it. Clearly he was a Swifty, ladies and gentlemen. And then the next thing you know, I think the following day, uh, Anthony Anel, Anthony Albanese, or <laughs> uh, Albo as he's sometimes called, um, he was uh, spotted at Taylor Swift as well. Obviously, I think, you know, if you're a politician, you would probably want to associate yourself with Taylor Swift because she is quite popular, uh, particularly with female voters, um, young and probably some, uh, sorry, old and young and some who are probably uh, too young to vote, so you probably have to worry about them. But like, you know, it, it does make sense. But, um, you know, it seemed to me like Anthony Albanese was more interested in hanging out with uh, these, uh, you know, Zionist uh, Pratt family and, um, you know, God knows what goes on behind closed doors there, ladies and gentlemen. And, you know, he's obviously, you know, all into this kind of, you know, I mean, he just seems to push, you know, a kind of woke politics. I'm sure you've noticed that the Labor Party, the Labor Party of Bob Hawke, that, that appeared to, um, you know, care about the working class is not the, um, you know, uh, Labor Party of Anthony Albanese. I mean, I think, you know, uh, it could have been, you know, Anthony Albanese, if he was smart, could have returned the Labor Party uh, in a non-woke direction and made it more about supporting the local working class, you know, lowering the cost of living, uh, caring about the, you know, the average Aussie battler. But it seems like, um, you know, uh, whether it's instructions from the globalists or whether it's instructions from his own party, he doesn't care about that. And he's obviously he's distracted at the moment because he's our first divorcee, um, you know, uh, uh, prime minister. So he's announced he's getting married to his partner, uh, Jodie Hayden. And, um, you know, that's another distraction, another bunch of bullshit. So, you know, that's just a little report from Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen, on local politics and what's going on there. We're probably about halfway through uh, term one of Anthony Albanese. And um, let's hope it's only one term, uh, even though um, Peter Dutton ain't perfect, he'd be a much better uh, Prime Minister than Anthony Albanese, and uh, he's actually been rising in the polls, um, because Anthony Albanese has been doing such a, a pathetic job, ladies and gentlemen. So that's the report for Tiger Mountain for this week. Thank you for listening. But this bloke thinks he's above the Australian law, that he's above common decency,